let us dive in this grim dark universe with another showcase army. This time it's my Steel Legion army collection and how I made this army and the conversions during the months that I made this force. And let me tell you the tale and how I was inspired to make this army and the journey that got through making this army that I always wanted. So this is a showcase army for my Armageddon Steel Legion collection. This is the inspiration that got me to build a Steel Legion army. And as you can see, I have this old codex that I bought many years ago at around 2006, the fort edition one from my local game store of 40k. This actually get me to the lore of the game and you can see how old this book is. And over the years, you can see how I use this book is. I use it as a drawing board and mouse pad. But, as you can see, the subject matter is my guard army here, the Steel Legion. And you can see from the old Citadel line that's no longer available or just in the eBay rescue bin. And this is the Steel Legion metal ones. And this is the army that I just finished working. Here, as you can see the art, glorious artwork, I fell in love with their lore and their aesthetic of this army. And you can see the fear in their eyes when they're dealing with the orc menace that has been hitting Armageddon. You can see Gaskell over here and several knobs and mega knobs of orcs. And you can see this brave Steel Legion commander, Samia. Well, this is the army of my Steel Legion. I finally got this done. And as you can see, I completed this for over a almost five month period. And I just decided on um, since they were gonna, um, Games Workshop was gonna get rid of the, the model range of the metal. I bought a few to complete my set. I already had a standing army and I decided, this, you know what, I'm gonna make a standing Steel Legion army and I did. Add for my current existent one. Since I already have these guys on a squad of them, I never made it into a fully army until now. I decided to add some chimeras and whatever sentinels I have that have it on what's in my um, it's also on my back it also gave me a um, excuse to work on my pile of shame that I could never um, work on on some of these models so I got these sentinels going paint them, paint them with um, steel legion colors and from what I did it was I followed all the instructions and I'm very um, impressed when I did it, did this and this army that I worked on is ready for some tabletop quality so it's ready for battle. I'm glad I can put this in. So basically I have uh, an army list in here it's basically two infantry troops and several support weapons. I just follow the guideline. Most of these um, guidelines over here are from 8th edition, like a special weapon squad. So I was kind of thinking I was just going to make them into, I'll probably add more units into them. But metal miniatures are so hard to um, work with. I know you can still get them on eBay, but I'm kind of exploring other options. There's also 3D printing, so I'm probably going to end up making a third squad out of the six that I made. As you can see there that by the camera flyby, um, I was able to make a squad of command. So that I did was just, I I just kit bash whatever units I have from my previous plastic edition and that took forever. That's why it was so difficult to do um, plastic miniature. As you can see here, I have um, a commissar that I kit bash many 
years ago for Kill Team. I don't know, you can't make them any, use them anymore in the current edition because it had a power fist, but I'm just skipping it for now. Right now, I have two Lehman Rust battle tanks for my Steel Legion Force, and they are magnetized because of the new box set that Games Workshop has released that allows you to make multiple customization for the tanks. As you can see over here, that that Macarius looking vehicle is actually a 3D printed one. I have a dedicated separated video for that. I'll explain more, but that's just basically I kit bashed that one. And over here, the Basilisk, I finally found one online on eBay. It's a it's an eBay rescue. So yeah, here's more the yeah, Macarius. I'll tell I'll tell more, but here's that on um, Basilisk in the center in that building. That's a Forge World kit, but I have to um, 3D print back of the back because it's missing a door. So I had to 3D print something in there to fill it up. And it's good enough for me. And I'm glad I ha have a Steel Legion um, Basilisk. Now you're asking, am I going to expand this army? Of course, but there's gonna be, I am not gonna collect any metal anymore because it's kind of the posing the posts are already double and i can barely um do anything with that i can i was lucky to convert what i have right now but it's time i look for something new direction for a steel legion army i'm gonna expand more into this and plus i can always add in some allied units i got a death core of krieg and cadian armies and i also have ab humans i have some rattlings along with this force and some ogrins i might add some rough riders too and i heard it might be a rough rider for the steel legion to do that i must have to look for some 3d printed stuff so or i can just get media tillons as a extra unit for this army maybe some anti-air vehicles like the hydras to deal with those annoying flyboys from the orcs in any case i can see this army and how it works and maybe tweak it later and here is commissar sebastian yarrick the hero of armageddon and hades hive and many other titles out there in the bane of Gasgul Uruk Kraka. <laughs> and yeah, when I saw and read that for the car um guard codex for night edition, late night edition, it I didn't believe it. It was kinda like it was rushed in my opinion to say he killed them off. And I don't think that's a proper send off if they want to do that. They might have a book coming soon, but until then, I'm not gonna believe it. Even though they kill him off, we can always play him as legend. We can always like download like a little um, rules for him, so I and put him in our games. It's just this tournament thing, so he still lives in my opinion. A Steel Legion army requires an enemy to fight, and the greatest nemesis is the Orc army. The one who keeps attacking Armageddon. So building this army was a fun part for me because I got to motivate myself to work on the orcs and they are a proper, proper army right now to deal with. So I haven't expanded a little bit more and I can have a battle report ready to go. Yeah, this was a fun army to make and I'm glad I got this off from my things to do list and I will add more to it more units and hopefully I'll have the I'll bring this probably somewhere in the gamers club with some tweaking on it so and see how it fares well against the enemies of the Imperium well I hope you guys enjoy this little video that I made for you guys and 
I hope it motivates you to finish that army that you want to get done from your 40k collection that you cannot get it done. Because this actually motivated me to do something about it. For my plastic and metal crack addiction for my miniatures. Well, I think this is it. So, like I said, finish that army you got in your back pile of shame that you've been trying to get. So, just leave me a comment and hit a like or subscribe for more videos like this. So, this is Deleon Francis 60 here, signing off, and happy wargaming, everybody.